This is your other brother's podcast. But yeah, I mentioned I mentioned your book, People to Be Loved, because it's uh, you know, it's pretty revered in our community. Like so many guys have love for that book. Um, and we have it featured on our on our resources page on our website. Lots of guys wow. have been blessed by that book and it's just, it's made a difference in, in many guys' lives, certainly within our community. And I'm sure with be far beyond our community too. So um, our community on, on, I just wanted to voice that support and just say, thank you for, for writing that book. It's helped a lot of people piece things together and feel um, mm. like, feel like some of their story is, is seen by, by the church. So, so thank you for, for doing that. Well, that, that, yeah, I have to say that honestly means a lot because while many straight people entering into this conversation do so without thinking about it. Like I, I do so with a lot of reservation and, and um, yeah, trepidation really. Like e even with people who hold to a traditional sexuality, even that community can, or s sometimes straight people thinking they can speak authoritatively to th that community. Um, sometimes that doesn't go well either. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't take for granted just because we might share the same sexual ethic that it's just totally fine for straight people, straight <laughs> right. Christians to say, here's what you need to do. Like, mm. so e even now looking back, I still get nervous whenever I think about what my contribution to the sexuality conversation. Um, so yeah, that really does mean a lot that that book has gone over well in your community.